and then we can just watch a match rather than stop fighting rather than Rayton saying it's 2 0 to Elias. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare for battle. Palm shield wall. Why is this happening? Just glitches, man. Quite a few. <laughs> no Quite. clue, just working as intended. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? Quite a heavy setup. On the defense side. Right, it was always when it basically got to zero that it got kicked, so let's see now. What's that from? There's like a comedy thing as well. Oh, I'm gonna have to research that final out. There's, there's like some comedy fucking thing from years ago and there's like some weird little ape thing and there's like like magician like no is he a warlock or some shit and he's got like his familiars like this weird like gorilla ape thing like bigfoot and he just says and then there's like somebody else has got like a, an improved version of one and like says specifically what's going on <laughs> like what the problem is what's gonna happen he's like why don't you give me any warning and he's like i did i said i've got a bad feeling about this <laughs> i can't remember what it was from though I'm like are really are you quoting like labyrinth possibly i can't remember though it's like some mega old like comedy thing right so it looks like blame elias are going to do a full defense on the end point going to try getting artillery and everything use the thing tinjev's already climbing the wall of people let's we should see him though and then with multiple pole axes he's going to get ruined if he actually does climb up here And I'm typing in chat and the camera's just going all the way. Oh mate, I'm nice sand view, I enjoy that. Look look at detail in the mountains, lovely. So annoying though when you just want to type something and the, the game's like nah nah. Ugh. The mouse is on the different program, we clearly have to rotate. So some surf slays up on the wall here. Oh, it looks like the first one's gonna die though. Poor effort. Even Header would have survived that one. <laughs> yeah, Heather would have died on the climb. The wind would have knocked him out. <laughs> they might lose a couple more over here, though. Elden Lord Flame. I think he's... Oh, no, he managed it. Horse is dead, though. Poor horse. Rest, rest in pieces. Right. They've used two trebs. The middle tower is in. They're already on A. Flame Elise are going to pull back to the end point. Oh, we got a pike fell down. Oh, no. They, they didn't notice. If they'd have maybe seen that, I'm saying that no, they would they would have been in the front of the jump on top of it. They'd have been dead anyway. Right, let's have a look at the units that Blame Elise have got out already. So they've got a Flames, they've got a Tercio, they've got a couple of Shenjin. I was going to say maybe the Tercio are back in the safe area, but they're not. Why have they got trash out? Why have they got a Village Watchman out? Ah, because he's mainly got Specialists. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of. I, I assume no, Flames no are in here. We need it. Yeah. Can't see the flames there though. Who has the flames for the defenders? Ikisane. Are they all cinetics? Cinetics back here. There's flames out there though. They must be in this blob, we just can't see them. So Biggie just killed. Where the hell did that go on? On the wall here? Yeah. Don't know, yeah, Biggie's there. Him. Biggie's Biggie's there, so he must have shot somebody as they run past with low elf or something. So they got 16 minutes for this, this last endpoint fight. Obviously, both teams have barely lost anything. 37 units for the attackers, that's mainly trash. Surf Slayers, the thing that's mad about Surf Slayers is that when, when, when we were screaming against them, they it looks like they're not doing anything and they take so long to set up. And then as soon as they go, they go mental. And it's like, you have to react so goddamn quick to, to try and negate whatever it is they're going to try doing. So they've got all the heroes here, but no units, look. They're going to go onto the resupply here and cap it, and then maybe just get new units out and go through. 
And Flame Elias. Where are their units now, though? Up all on the walls, look. They can't get killed. They've got the resupply. Are they going to get units out, though, or what are they doing? They're going up onto the wall. No Name Onyx is going to put the ladders down there. Tinjev's here as well. Those two have to be very careful. If they get seen and jumped on, they're insta dead. Oh, Espanya's there as well. They're putting... That's... Rebkin. Now they're ex-moving their units in. Oh, so their plan was to take the walls. Hmm. But Surf Slayers don't have cataphracts. They've got like one, two units of cataphracts. So they've got the walls now with all... No, they're jumping off. Is that just to see what units were here? Obviously, they're going to get units up on the wall anyway. They can't actually build artillery, so I hope he's just trolling. Yeah, he's trolling. So detailed. <laughs> you mean, Toby, I'm always detailed. Right, they've got a big old present up on this wall, man. With Tinjev with his Zakalian militia as well. Dark Flame's got Sifirofanoi out. They've got Shenjis as well. So they've got a lot of damage to come down off the walls. Blame Elias being in this corner here with Shenjis. Two sets of Shenjis and Palace Guard and Amadao, I think. Hmm. Couple of Blame Elias out here. If they get caught out, they're going to be in a world of hurt, though. So far, hero wise, it's pretty even as well. Oh, no, in 3 0. Never mind. No name Onyx has died twice. Arca once. Right, they have the wall back here though already. The question is, are these guys going to go to the resupply and come through the back? Or are they going to try fighting here? Well, if they do go through the back to the resupply, then they're going to draw them into perfect trip spots. And they can, and then they can hit them from behind as well. Yeah. This is what I mean with them though, they're so like it looks like they're doing nothing for ages and they just take their time to set up and do like random, what looks like it's random crap. But they've got the wall up here, look now. They've got the wall here and they can pincer them from two sides. I wonder if they're actually going to take the fight on this side though or is it just so they can clear this off and then they're going to push back down again. I'm pretty sure they don't have flames up here, do they? they've got Shenjis, but Zagalian have just retreated. So who had Zakalian out for the attackers? Injev, weren't it? Now he's got archers out. Looks like incendiary archers. They're on the point here now, fighting. They're fighting up on the wall here. They're going to lose this one on the point, I think. I think it's just to tie down numbers. But they're going to win this one on the back stairs here. Armiga's coming in as well. Very interesting fight. The defenders have lost more heroes, though, already. Surfs are taking the back wall here. They're going to be a push through now. The guys that they push down from this side are actually holding their own, even though they were outnumbered, which is actually mental. Caught them in the rear. Can allow them to set I think up. it must have been the, the Shenjis and that as well, like just absolutely disrupting their formation. Yeah. They've got control of the point, basically. There's no units for the defenders on point. They're obviously going to bring some through now. They need to keep trebbing. They've still got the Shenjis up on the wall. Armiga's got through pretty well there from Mr. Doc. You've got Elias the Veggie in the background as well with cavalry. Even more cavalry coming through from the defenders. They're just swarming now with Armigas by looks of it. Obviously, they've got a few guys dead, a few guys still getting the units at the back supply. Even more army. How many Armigas did they bring? A lot. Unit deaths wise, it's very, very even so far. I think Surf's need to pull back and reset this. They're on their eight heroes. I think that's what they're attempting now. <laughs> Mask Flames as a node actually is just trying to tank as much stuff as possible. And slow them down. It's Blame Elise need to reset it, as well. They've got a lock. I would push back out. They don't want to be sitting back on that home point. They need to make sure they're in there. In close to them two archers as possible. You mean the Blame Elias now? Yeah, Blame Elias. They, there was a good recovery. Like, yeah. So they just need to not sit, get drawn and, and sitting back too far back. I could just recovery charge, but I couldn't see anything. 
Ah, I think they must have pushed the free ability on the Amigas to get him back to the thing quicker, but they kind of just got stuck on the wall or something. Right, so all 30 players are back into the map. This time, Surfs have actually got a couple of cav out. Silidar's out as well. They've got the Zakalian again from Dark Flames this time. I'm sure that's incendiary out, just Tinjev. And Kara's got Village Watch. Okay. Kara's back here though, so I wonder if they're going to go for the back supply and just get a new unit when they're out there. Got multiple guys going for that back supply now. Is everyone going back there? But they've X moved their units back this way already. It looks like they're going to get the back supply and then change units and then come. Are oh, they going to do the exact same thing again? They're doing the exact same thing again. I mean, they've got time, man. They've got 10 minutes nearly still. Deja vu's chase. What's he chasing? The flame. The Kalian. I suppose that's a good shout, though. He's probably going to die now, though, to the Fort of Brachio, but he got rid of the Kalian, so he got rid of a specialty unit. I'd say that's worth it if he dies. Cersei have got the resupply. It looks like they're going to get full units out here. Blame Elias obviously don't really want to be pushing out onto that. Especially because they've seen it a little bit too late. That Treb's not going to hit it. Oh, Blame Elias is just going to stay at the back, out of the way of it. They've still got flames out. They've got Zakalian, two Shenjus themselves. What units are the attackers getting out? Got a good mix of everything, basically. Lobby here, though, so the Treb's safe. This is going to be an interesting fight, man. Tinjev's got his Zakalian out now. DK's the guy with the, the Surfs this time. Tinjev's going to climb up this back wall with his Zakalian. Bravo's seen it. Got Madal. The support. The Caitlyn in that blob there is going to be brutal. They've got Pikes up on the wall as well. Jim, thanks for the follow, dude. What are Blame Elias doing back here that they keep spreading out? Are they just trying to get away from the Zakalian, I think? I think they are. I think that's why they've moved further back. The problem is if Surfs get a foothold here, they're going to struggle to push them back off. Yeah. Although they do have flames. Corn Berserker is going to go back around. Is that a Blame Elias player? That is a Blame Elias. He didn't see Corn coming though, and Corn doesn't see him either. Right, here comes the fight. Here comes the big fight. Kalian's going off. Here's the flames for Blame Elias. So Surfs need to get rid of those flames. Espanya's jumping on him. So is Corn Berserker just jumping over his cataphract. I don't think he's seen the flames himself though. Hero wise is. Very close. Amiga coming in from the side. The attackers have actually dropped two heroes already. Tinjev's coming around the back now with cavalry as well. So he just used a couple of them as Akalian throws. Now he's coming back through with cataphracts maybe. Cataphracts like. Very close. Hero wise. Them cataphracts on Tinjev are going to get loads of kills I think. At least assist. I think Surf Slayers are getting the control of it here. It's just heroes yeah. alive for, for Blame Elias. They're dropping like flies now. They've got guys blocking the supply so they can't just respawn units. Obviously, the guys that do respawn will have new units anyway. And Dinetic, they've got set of Madows, is that in the archway? I think it's Madow in the archway there as well, yeah. So they're going to be able to do work. Obviously, you can come through the back here as well where Bravo's just come through. Has Bravo got any unit? Bravo doesn't have a unit. That's it, GG. It's well played, Surf Slayers. Good harassment. Yeah. <clears throat> Very. Well, uh, fair quick blame. Like, like they, they stayed away from the Trebs, trying to not. But yeah, they just. It's Surf Slayers, isn't it? Like, we, you yeah. think, like I said, mate, you think, oh, this, is, this ain't going to work. And then all of a sudden, 13 dead, no units. You're like, what the hell? Yeah. Look well, how long right. it took for an actual engagement as well. Like they, they take so much time. They're so methodical with their setup. And then when they take the fights, look, they win them. But well, there's no point engaging if you, you know, yeah. just for the fight, is it? Right. <clears throat> Hero deaths, though, only 1922. It's just the, the problem that Elias had there. They dropped them all at the end. <laughs> 
basically, is when they got the, the most of the deaths on their team. And they just couldn't cycle back through in time. And Surf's just had so much left alive on that end point that it was just GG, man. Very.